so I have already done majority of the hair and this is obviously my first time of doing something like this and even though I love the way it's turned out like I love the way it's coming out doesn't make me doesn't stop me from Okay, they call them, or they call it Marley. So I'm, this is the two hair I'm using, and I got this from um, I got this hair from um, Insta Beauty on Instagram. You could uh, actually look for them if you were looking for this exact texture. I regret it ever not buying five. At least five would have been enough. I bought four, and that is why I am actually, you know, not happy. But I'm I'm okay. So if you are around, you want to get go for the lighter because I feel like the second one, the, this one is lighter. This one is lighter than this one. I think this one is heavier. So, anyways, and as you can see, when I started it, there is a lot of mistakes. Anyways, guys, I'm not gonna lie. There are a whole lot of mistakes, and when I started it, it was um, a lot of flaws. You can see this one right here. It's supposed, it's supposed to be like this, like you know, well pointed like this. But you see, there are a lot of flops. There is a lot of mistakes. But anyway, that's what really makes us, um, and that's what makes it really authentic. And for the curls, for the goddess or the curls, I use Kima hair braid. I use color, color two and color twenty seven. Cause I just want to mix the colors anyways this is this I use color 27 and some of you who doesn't know what Kima hair braid is this is it this is the company I use this is the Kima hair braid this is I use in ripple deep yeah so I just wanted one texture and I got ripple deep I love the product so much so with that <laughs> I use it for parting you need your lighter you can use your glue I was using glue before this was the glue I was using before bold and hold but instead of messing up i said to start using um lighter so i use the light so yeah huh? oh <laughs> so the 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 air didn't want doesn't want so this is what i was using this is the lighter and i just need this for the tangling of my hair obviously you know my hair is natural and you need your crochet pin obviously you didn't need it so I don't add a lot of product to my hair because my hair is suffering from dandruff a lot. So if you guys know, um, you know, anything I could do to my hair to stop it from having lots of dandruff uh, and it stop being itchy right now, as you can see, I'm already itchy. My hair is itchy and I'm scratching. So if you know what I could use to stop it from having a lot of dandruff, um, please put in the link in the description box or comment down below Com Comment down below to tell me so that your girl can you know treat it. It's really really bothersome I'm gonna divide it in three because that's what is remaining. I have just three. I pick up um, a hair It's um, that's one of the curly hair The Kima hair braid. So I want it longer The section so I'm just going to instead of making it in half or cutting in half. I'm just going to just dip in my hand like that and just make um, a single um, box braids
you know, there are rules and how you can fix it in, how you, you shouldn't. So right now I'm just, I want the hair to fall this way. So I'm fixing in my crochet needle in here like that. It's really thin and weightless. So I'm just going to take my brush and I just have to brush the teeth because I want to separate some of the hair and I want my hair to be super you know even so I'm just going to not all the hair I'm just going to just brush the tip of the hair so I'm just oh, this hair so now I've brushed this so I want to take out so I'm t what I'm typically I'm doing this uh, one and a half and the hair is super small, it's thin and small. Like I wasn't impressed when I when I, I, I had it. But when I saw it, I wasn't impressed with it. But I don't know if it's that's how other hair other Mali hair is, but that's fine. So what I do is I twist it, you know, twist it so that it could fit in my crochet needle. Then I just hook it in there and I close it and I bring it out. And mind you, one is smaller and one is shorter. So uh, the smaller one is the one I, I want to pull, but I have to bring it down this way. Since I'm whipping like this, I'm whipping to the right. That's it. Mm -hmm. Since I'm whipping to the right, that's the way I want. I want the longer one to be here and the shorter one to be on the left. So, so I just pick, I just whip one and two, then I start braiding. I make sure that I open up so that it could lap. If it, if it doesn't lap, um, and it, it won't be tight enough. So I'm just going to go whipping and I'm making sure I'm opening it as you can see. I'm taking it. Round. So once I've gotten to like, and I found out that the one I'm using is, is thin already, I'm just going to see what I did. I just stick it round like that, and then I get it together with this one and make the transition. So I will start from where it stopped, then I'll start braiding again. I have to go so that's how you make the transition for your braids um, for your first looks you know you keep going so obviously I want it to be longer to be long as long as this so I'm just gonna bring it out this to just wait as you can see we have a long way to go and then keep braiding keep braiding so Right here is looking as if it's super thin, and definitely um, I don't want to braid just the this um, the curly hair because it will unravel. It makes it unravel. So I'm just going to make sure I have like a textured hair in there to aid with the um, to aid the the hair already. Yeah, so I'm just going to do that. Now I find out that it's thinner, it's getting thinner than the, the, the braid I'm doing. So I'm just going to braid it now upwards. I'm taking it upwards like that. So when I go upwards, so I want them to have the same, um, to have the same um, bulkiness. So I'm just going to keep taking it there up picking it up now I'm taking it down why am I doing this I'm doing it so that it could have the same and I want to lock it like I want it could have the same um uh, what's it called what's it called again I don't know what it's called size let's say it's gonna be the same size now the one remember the one I brought out so I'm just gonna make make it into two i don't want to make it one i'm just going to make it in two so i'm just going to 
fix it in like this. Can you see that? So thereby, excuse me. So I'm just going to fix it in like this and then I'll start braiding or I'll start weeping. Definitely there will be some um, some gaps or some knots. Um, it just makes it look more realistic. So when you tell someone that you did it yourself, they'll be like, oh yeah, I could see um, the difference between <laughs> someone who did it for you and that you did it yourself. There are people who are professional in this that can do it themselves and it's super clean. Anyways, let's just let us not go there. So I'll keep weeping, weeping. I have to keep going. Obviously, it's becoming more thinner, thinner as you go down. So now, just as you did before, you just have to whip it around and then take up the longer one, and then you start going again. You start going. We are almost there so let's keep going so now we've gotten to the almost to the end of it so what I'm going to do just like we did earlier on I just go and take it upwards and keep whipping it upwards like that then when I've gotten to that some people just don't don't like you know tying it or knotting it so I'm just going to use my lighter I'm just going to take my lighter so I'm just going to do it that way and mind you I'm not burning my natural hair yes I'm not my natural hair is whipped inside so I need my scissors I'm gonna use my scissors and chop this up so if I don't need it, I'll just chop it up like that that's it well I want it to be super clean I don't uh, I don't want the chopped area to be seen so I'm just going to burn it too and then I'm going to just rub it this way it doesn't hurt before you even touch it it will just go off the so this is this is it this is it perfect it's perfect and it's good See, and it's soft, like it's squishable, it's movable, it's
so i decided to use my wet and wavy um you know lotion on the ends but like i like you can see it's refused to spray <laughs> i just tried everything i could to make it spray because i needed it to you know circulate and also to give the the goddess of the curls more definition but obviously it refused to work and i just dumped it and decided to go in with my mousse and uh, the mousse i'm using but any mousse can go but the mousse i'm using is coming from swatch golf um smooth shine fine botanical oils black um black seed oil and coconut so i used it to you know massage through the hair my the hair and obviously i love the way it's looking so once i was done with it i went ahead and go in with my beauty nest product that product helps to make you to like it helps your natural hair it just stops it reduce the amount of the amount of itchiness from your scalp if you have itchy scalp or you have dandruff that helps a lot so when once i finish i just styled it add more um um I added more stuff like you know decorating the hair and making it look pretty so that's pretty much what I did and obviously it's my first time like I said and I, I'll be doing it more often and I'm out here for customers or for clients if you want your hair to look this beautiful please contact me and guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like what I do um don't forget to give me a very big thumbs up if you like the video share this you know and comment down below what you want me to do next so that is the end of this tutorial thank you so much for supporting me thank you for my old subscribers my returning subscribers thank you for the new subscribers i love you so much and bye bye